say we can keep things classy even when women aren't around, you know? be mad, okay? We really needed that chip. We, we'd be stuck here. Could you do it? Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. Delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Theta. Then we just head inside, grab the dunback, back, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. That's a long way. We don't have to worry, though, because with the dunback, back, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Oh, sorry. I, I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, it's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and then go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? 
Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kath, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside Theta, okay? See you soon. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the Dunbat. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the Abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? That's a good question. 
I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or a virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? And the habitat? That's so strange. Why would they all leave this floor? I don't get it either. They all just cleared out. What's so interesting downstairs? Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. What about the world about this? Um... Maybe they wanted to keep close to the shuttle station in case something went wrong. You're really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. This is where I would store the art scans. So you saved the whole staff digitally on these chips? That was the plan. This is where I did my scan. And 
All the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. that mainframe connection. intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. What is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munshi's templates. A legacy scan. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. The model so was sound. my brain scan turned into a template for artificial fault, intelligence. Dana. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along, waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. 